All right, everyone, welcome to another Corey B video. Today, we're gonna be peeling back the curtain a little bit on the Super League here. It's gonna be the finals of the Super League. As I record this, you know, I'm playing in the finals a little bit later today, but I wanted to make sure and record this beforehand to get my reaction before I see what they're playing, uh, you know, before I, I get any information that would make it easy to make this video. I wanted to kind of explain my thought process and what goes on in these kind of Super League videos because it's a lot of mind games. It's a lot of mind games and it's a lot of fun. So first, we got to check out the Super League bracket here. A little cut off, but you can kind of get the gist. I am indeed Brad Nelson's brother. They haven't beat this joke to death or anything, I swear to God. Uh, up against Aspiring Spike in the top four. Winner will go on to face the winner of Canister and Javier. So normally you play one deck. You know, I play it against Jesse last week where I played Titan. I uh, ended up going my way. It was close, uh, but in three games, I was able to take her down. But this is different. Now you got to play for not only beating Aspiring Spike, but I got to play for beating either Javier or Canister. So what that's going to lead me to believe, not only for myself, but for everybody else, people are just going to play good decks. You know, people are just going to play strong decks. Uh, there's not going to be heavily metagame decks, uh, but we'll see. If anyone can heavily metagame, it could be Aspiring Spike. Uh, I think Canister and Javier are going to play good decks. If I had to guess, Javier I would put on Scam. Canister I would put on Big Mana. I don't know, either Amulet or Tron. And then Aspiring Spike, I'm putting him on a couple of things. I either think he's going to be an Up the Beanstalk deck because, well, duh. Um, or his Gruel Storm deck. Um, that's kind of my range for him. Or Scales. I think I think he can pilot you know pretty much any deck with ease and, and you know, kind of transition any way he wants because he makes modern. He owns modern. He is modern. <laughs> he really is. Like, he builds all the decks we all play with. Uh, you know, he's extremely awesome. Super fun to watch. Check out Aspiring Spike on Twitch uh, if you want to. It's my favorite streamer. He's probably yours as well. Uh, so if I beat Aspiring Spike, I'm officially the villain. I'm accepting that, especially if I beat Spike with a foiled out scam list. <laughs> I'm sure all of you are waiting. When is he going to talk about this completely unhinged deck list you're seeing in front of you? So we were issued God accounts. Uh, and if anybody knows what that means is you get all the cards, you get all the versions uh, just for today. So if we look at all my modern decks, as long as they're legal, I have them, you know, just because it, it is a God account. So I decided to have some fun with it and I wanted to bling out my deck. Uh, I first made sure that it wasn't going to like slow down the client or anything. I was assured that that won't happen. So, uh, we're running it. So we got a foil blinged out, uh, Rakdos scam list. And it's adjusted a little bit for what I expect. So number one, first and foremost, I got to get through Spike. Uh, and he's been playing his Gruel Storm deck, which I think is very good. Um, so I wanted to make a minor change to the main deck. I think the main deck is basically perfect. You can't mess around too much. But a couple flex slots. Number one, Croxa can always go. And Bone Crusher. I had Blood Moon here as well. Those are kind of the spots. I love Croxa and I don't think I'll ever cut it because that one Croxa really goes the distance in a lot of matches. And then for the other card, I was between another Lightning Bolt or a Bone Crusher Giant. I figured Bone Crusher would be better as he might be playing the One Ring or he might just be playing small creatures. I The one thing I don't put Aspiring Spike on is Scam. It's too against his brand to play a deck like that, you know, to play the best deck. I just don't foresee him doing it. But maybe that would be a good reason to do it. I don't know. But that's one deck that I do not put him on. So I'm trying to kill little creatures, I think, in my top four. And uh, then in the post board, I'm set up for big mana. I'm set up for scales. I'm set up for ch with chalice and leyline. I was actually going to cut chalice because I don't think it's very good right now. But I think there's a chance. There's rhinos on the other side of the bracket. It, probably Javier. Um, but also I think Chalice is good against his Gruel Storm deck. Ley Lines are good against his Gruel Storm deck. EEs just in case for Rhinos. And then Shieldred for the Mirror, which I'm guessing someone on the other bracket is. And then some Murktide Protection as well. Also good against a lot of matchups. So realistically, I think I could use all of these sideboard cards. So it was kind of hard to cut. But I think my deck list is very good for the deck list I expect. Now, if that's the case that I actually get it right, that's to be determined. So 
Today, what we're going to do is, uh, you know, I, I wanted to mostly show you my thought process whoops, on why and what deck list I was playing, but also we got a league to finish up here. So we're going to do that. Um, and I believe, yeah, we were 3-0. Wasn't the prettiest 3-0 by any means, but 3-0 nonetheless with foil blinged out Fury Scam. Not Fury Scam, Rakdos Scam. Uh, played these matches last night. Um, when I was a few beers deep, not gonna lie, after a, a night out with some friends, but you know what? I had to get some practice in and I had to submit my deck. So things went well. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna try to run it back. All right, foil dog scam time. It's the truest of the scams. Okay, four land, not dead after all, terminate. Um, this is a close hand. If we know Regavan is like a really good card, then maybe we keep this. So I think this is worth doing a little bit of research. Looks like Murktide. I mean, they have a lot of removal. Um, but our opponent is a Murktide gamer. It looks like. So, a uh, real question is, is this even keepable? I think I should aggressively mulligan this a little bit more. Ragavan can just die and all of a sudden my hand does nothing. So, we are going to mulligan. Okay. I mean, it's the thing. Let's do the thing, right? All right, so I'm going to keep, and I'm just going to get rid of a land. Or I get rid of Fury. Honestly, I think I might get rid of Fury. I mean, if I draw a land off the top, I'm going to feel a little silly. But if I draw a Fable off the top and I never hit land three, that also feels bad. Now, Murktide is supposed to be a bad matchup. I say supposed to be because I, I don't know. I think it's close. It's either Delta, Swamp, or Fury. Mm. Fury is not that great. I'm going to put Fury back. This could be wrong. If we flood out, it's going to feel really silly. God, is that right? Don't have that many three drops, so I don't know. Okay, we don't need the extra land. I am gonna just get rid of swamp. Okay. Okay. Now let's do the thing. And I mean, honestly, first of all, hope they don't have subtlety. All right, grief them. Well, we're definitely gonna leave them with spell pierce. We're definitely taking Unholy Heat for the first one. Uh, dismiss this. Undying Evil. Honestly, I think I might take Bobble. We need to get our hits in. If I just take Bobble, I mean, Bobble, they could find Lightning Bolt on top with Scalding Tarn. I think I just have to take the Bobs and hope that their hand's too slow after that. All right. Because, I mean, I have to basically win with this Grief. Otherwise, I'm in a lot of trouble. Maybe I can top deck like a Ragavan or something. Oh no. You didn't. Okay. <laughs> well, that's still probably pretty bad for me, but. We'd like to see two on the bottom, please. One top, one bottom. So they found a good card. Thoughtsies? That's pretty good. I don't have to cast it now. But I guess I could. I probably should actually. Against Ragavan, this is worse. But against Counterspell, this is better. Because they would probably just go land go if they got Counterspell. I don't think they would keep Counterspell on top for what it's worth. It's probably only Lightning Bolt they would keep on top. Oh, brutal. Dang it. Well, that would have worked better if this they were at 13 now, you know? Well. Should I just... I mean, it is a two-turn clock. I'm going to attack and be a coward. Mm. That's disappointing. 
If I attack, well, I could attack with these and then the fetch line still makes it a turn two turn clock next turn that they have to be a little careful of. What if I get in there with this too? They block, they take five. Yeah, all right, we're gonna go like this. Let's rip tap, say go. Now if they attack, I think I have to block. Cause I can't let them go EI and already have a red mana for things, you know? I know those are three of their cards, so the other one better be a removal. I have to block. That's a feel bad. Maybe I didn't have to block. Maybe I played this game terribly. Where's the Mark Tide? Yeah, maybe I really chucked this game, y'all. Well, that's okay. They can't really attack with that. Yeah, not my best played game. I mean, I made some some decisions and they just so happened to get punished. So maybe it's not the worst. Oh, this doesn't even have the wicked roll. So when it dies, it just doesn't deal a damage. That's actually a big deal. So if they find lightning bolt here. I'm still in trouble. It's got to be specifically lightning bolt though. Because if it's a creature to block, I'll, I'll fury it out. Bobble. Okay. Hopefully they're just digging for Bobble, a lightning bolt on top. Okay, they're targeting themselves. So they're looking to see if it's on top. If it's not, maybe they play a creature, say go kind of thing. Okay. Wow. I think we got lucky there after not playing perfectly. So uh, my Murktide plan is really easy. And for what it's worth, everyone, I have been on a tear with this deck. Um, I have my sideboard guide in the Patreon below. This is not the deck I would recommend into an open tournament, so don't copy this deck list. This is Super League only, but I'm updating my list uh, probably tomorrow. I got the Super League to deal with first, and then I plan to update it, write an article, and uh, get that going. So, you know, don't copy it here, but uh, I will be making changes, and I have a good sideboard guide with the top 14 matches already um, in there, so check that out. Now, normally, I have Blood Moon in the deck, and I take that out. I still think it's just the same. And that's that's my only sideboard for Murktide. Not that I think it's that good of a matchup that I don't sideboard. It's just I don't really have that good of cards. And they don't stop the grief thing. And they're not punishing Regavan. So my deck just stays intact pretty well. So that's my only change. I only bring in a Terminate. I only bring in the Terminate. I'll get to the job now immediately. <clears throat> Sorry. I think I'm getting an Arnold cold. Ugh. Hope I hope I get over that. Dog it down. <clears throat> Dog it down. Oh, <clears throat> okay. All right, we're good to go. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep. So it gets a lot different on the draw, though. It becomes a lot tougher as they can have stern scolding. They can do some things, you know. Targeting the KG. I think I still go for it though. Like what else am I gonna do, you know? Yep. Okay. So now do I even want to keep this on top? And I don't think I do because now I can just do the fury scam, right? I mean, I'm not going to do the fury scam now. I'm just going to Regavan, but I'm going to bottom this. They got me. 
Two for two, and then I'll play Regavan. Okay. And now if they just play a blocker like a Ledger Shredder or something, we get to uh, have a very good start. But if they bolt this, then it's, you know, pretty good. Ooh. Um, I think I let this go. Yeah, I think I let this go because I want to try to fable. If they hit, they hit. I only have two bolts. Now, if they had a bolt as well, then this was a really nice play, but I don't think they do. I just have a vibe. I'm playing off vibes, brah. So this does take away my Fury Scam if I were to do it. But I think especially with them discarding um, a thing already, discarding Spell Pierce, I think I'm pretty safe here. And then just find a red card. Plus I can discard one of these Undying things. Yes, okay, that was huge. That got countered, I was in trouble. But now I'll block Ragavan. <coughs> I'll block Ragavan with my Ragavan at home. I want him, I want them to just play a creature so I can Fury Scam here. But we'll see. We might even just discard both of these Undying effects if uh, both my creatures are intact. There's a Ragavan. I bet they're going to play that. Not cast, not dash it. Okay. So that's, that's their spare Ragavan, you know? So that's a blocker. Oh, baby. Um, I think I'm going to discard the two undying effects. Okay. So now we go like this. Snot sees them. See what's up. God, this deck's good. And it's foiled. A Narset or a Ragavan. I don't think I care about Ragavan. Take the Narset, Bowmaster the Ragavan, attack and be on my way. This deck's so good. This deck's so good. I feel so powerful when I play this deck and I run so hot. All right. Okay, so Voidwalker off the top. Now I could play Voidwalker first or I could hold Fury. I think I'll hold for Fury. And I don't think I actually want to trade with my Bowmaster this time. Maybe I do. Because if they block... Yeah, no, I don't. Not with Reflection. Now, if they don't block, then I'll Fury. Hey yeah, Dead Ragavan. How can you ever possibly win? Oh my god, Murktide's such a bad matchup. To be fair, I don't think they should have Ragavans in their deck. Or Narsets. That is a card that keeps us playing magic. Let's see what they kill. Because there's a multiple tough creatures that they have to deal with. That's pretty good. <clears throat> so, now... I can Dothy? I can Dothy first, so if they decide to block the Fury... Perfect. And honestly, if they don't, I can Bowmaster... If they want to just eat the shaman and go to four, that's fine. I think I'll probably do it now. Now they're just dead. Unless they top deck another fury. That'd be good. All right, we win the match. Trophy match, trophy match. Trophy match. Usually I do this as a separate segment, but whatever. Let's just trophy match it up. 
<clears throat> that felt good. I mean, I think Murktide is just close. You know, they can have draws that destroy you. But, I mean, basically, the one thing... The dynamic shifts post-board where they're not that much of a tempo deck anymore. They're a control deck. So you just really have to, you know, tiptoe around when you cast your stuff. And also, mulligan like they're a control deck. What do you mulligan like when there's a control deck? Corey asked to his own computer. Um, <laughs> you, you make sure and uh, not aggressively mulligan to try to find like the scam thing because they have removal spells just the grief scam on turn one yeah of course we got lucky we had grief scam on turn one both games but it didn't win us the game either game and i didn't anticipate it would you know they have a lot of live draws so they will draw out of it you just have to time your spells right you got to get your value off fable you know time your bow masters right which we didn't do <laughs> and uh you know your haymakers are furious so you just got to be smart about it All right, trophy match with our foiled out deck. Trophy match, trophy match. Okay, it's a Fury scam. I'm gonna keep, I mean, this is just a good hand, so. Just a good hand. Most of the time I feel like, no, I don't want a Fury scam, but usually it's right. Hopefully we just top deck grief and we'll make it easier. Okay, what's our trophy match gonna be? Damn. Makes sense. We're in the scam bracket. All right. Well, that's probably being broken up. I like the mirror, though. I'm, I have a good record in the mirror. Which just might mean I'm lucky. You know, honestly, I have been running hot, y'all. And it's got to end eventually. Okay, so they have Terminate, I would think. That leads me to believe they have Terminate or... Or a Fury Scam of their own. I think I want to get value. I don't think it's right to do it here. With them seeing it, not taking it, I do not want to get three for one. Could be a mistake, of course, but especially if they just say go, I feel pretty good. Grab a bow master here, of course, but. Oh. Well, that changes it. Now I think I do it. All right, we're trying it. Done. Not dead after all. Why oh, did they just not have it the whole time? And I played into it like a fish. Or maybe they have it coming up. Let's see. Dowsy. Okay. Now they could have it and I can't do anything about it. Can attack with this Ragavan though. Or play my own Dothy. I'm gonna dash. I wanna hit a lightning bolt or something. Attack for 10. Not dead after all is no bueno. Uh oh. All right, let's hope they do not have a way to kill Fury because then they unlock a Fury. Hooray! <laughs> wow, I can't believe they didn't take Scam when they had it. Dang.
Okay, so on the draw, I like these. I like terminate. And things I don't like, two Ragavans. I leave in many more Ragavans than anybody else because everybody else cuts all of them. And on the draw, I'm gonna get rid of some Undying Evils and usually not dead after all. It's usually my plan and try to play a more fair game. Um, and then I have the Bone Crusher Giant in already. So yeah, let's do this. My real list looks a little different, of course. And then on the play, I like to adjust and take out at least one ley line. All right, let's see if we can uh, complete the 2040 on the video here in preparation for our Super League. I like to keep pretty much any hand against Scam, but this hand is far too bad. Ew. I got a mulligan again. Okay. I guess I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep, and I'm gonna pitch this and this, and I'm gonna try to hit a land and hope for the best. No ley line. We'll see if we see any ley lines out of them. If not, we'll go to full scam mode on the play. Okay. Yeah, this was unfortunate. But that's the best five card hand we could come up with. Not even good. All right, we need running land. And we're okay. Okay. Now correction. We need a red land. We only got two more just swamps in our deck, Takanuma and Swamp 3. Okay. Now, uh, I think I'd rather just get a Dothy down and block. At least we have a play next turn if we brick. Let's see if they want to play the game or... Yeah, I mean... Oh, wow. Oh, they kin fable now. That makes sense. That all checks out. I mean... If they play Fable, I'm just going to start attacking. And if I can play Fable, like, I'm ahead. I'm ahead on the battlefield. Can play Dothy, I guess. Yep. Just don't draw a ley line. Pretty much. That's pretty much a ley line. Yikes. Well, now we're set up if we draw lands, but... If they deal with this, we're in a lot of trouble. Let's see what they discard. Maybe a Fury? No discard. Okay, we're dead. Now I think we need it. Ooh. Oh, come on. Come on. Now if they have a removal, we're going to be too far behind. And we will not be winning this game. Let's hope they don't have Land Fury. That's GG. Do they not have an answer for this? Wow. I mean, I don't think they know how to work their card. Play a Dothy, right? Dothy or a Bowman still. Let's play Dothy. Okay. 
Huh? Well. Wow, Shieldred or Fury. Well, I guess I'm going to get... If I don't take Fury, I won't get it. And if I take Shieldred, I'm probably dead. Okay, how does the active player thing work now? That doesn't matter. I mean, it just has to be Fury. Otherwise, they kill my thing. Okay. Here we go. Don't think I have an out. That may be a fury. And then I double fury, kill Shieldred, and one of the reflections. I don't even know if that's enough. But I did not see any ley lines. They of course still could have them, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take my ley lines out on the play. And they easily could be play draw dependent. Okay, can I survive with a fury? Nope. Okay, well, we mulled the five. And honestly, if we would have drawn land three for Fable, I think we would have won. Alrighty, uh, now on the play. I just don't want any of them. I'm gonna go like that. He bought the two undyings. Brief, but no thing. Rip their hand apart with thought seizes. And have a bolt. It's slightly medium. But I'm gonna keep. I'm a fan of keeping hands in the mirror. And maybe we can draw, you know, not dead after all will be the best draw next turn. Okay, so they kept a scam hand. So if I take their not dead after all, that's probably ideal. Or I take their grief. If I take their grief, they fury scam me, and I actually can't beat that right now, so I have to take not dead after all. I mean, I could beat it, but I'd have to do this. Uh, all right, let's rip apart their hand and hope for the best. Not a great draw, I must say. Okay, well. I think I can leave him with the Dothy. I think I just get rid of the Fables. Try to beat Shieldred at some point. But then if they do draw the scam element, I'm in trouble. Dothy is the only card I don't care about because I'm going to bolt it. So it's between these four. I just think it's two fables. Yep. Then we need to top deck lands. I mean, our hand is not great either. So we are in trouble, to be honest. All right, your go. But they still need a land to even function. Or not dead after all is pretty good. Okay, at least we have the answer for that. And then their hand's pretty much the same as ours. All right, that was good. Cool. Okay, 
that's okay. Kind of. <laughs> Still a lot of damage. Wow. They're going all in on this. I don't hate it. Yeah, now they do have a Fury with Dothy. Yeah, we're probably dead. I think I just have to say go. I need to draw a removal spell, essentially. If I play Dothy, they just bring Fury back and they kill it. If I grief, yeah, I can't do anything. Need a bolt in a bad way. If I can deal with this Dothy or Fury if they play it, I, I feel okay. Okay, maybe a, maybe a Fable? Another Grief. That's not very good. They go. Lame, lame, lame. Uh oh, another one away. So now we'll have to do something about that fury. Honestly, a swamp is not so bad, at least so I can grief their fury. Ooh. Oh, I have a good line. Oh, yes. Oh, no. They have Dothy. Shoot. No, this is not a good line. Nope. Okay. That was stupid. I think I still would have just had to play this card, but I think I just have to pitch not dead after all now and accept that I'm going to get furied here. I was thinking I can grief, take their fury, and then when they go to fury my... Dothy, then I protect it. Then I can Fury their, their thing. But that is not how that's going to work. Instead, I'm going to be in trouble. Wait a minute. No, this will be gone. That is how that works. Okay. Wow. Reading the card explains the card, I guess. Okay. Actually, this was a top deck. Because now I get their fury and I get to fury their fury. Yes. <laughs> oh yes 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 this is gas 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 Fury. go I bet you're wondering how I got here <laughs> no ah that's pretty good we'll have to probably stay home all right I mean we're still actively behind with them drawing first you know and we don't have the mana to cast a fury if we draw it Well, okay, so this is six, that puts them to 11, and then six plus nine is not lethal. <laughs> Whoops, I'm offline, but I guess you can still sub. Well, can, thanks for the sub. So now do I want to race this? How many bolts do I think they left in? Probably some. Do I want to allow them to just get time to cast a shield right? If they have another Bowmaster, I just die on the spot, so I better not. Okay. We'll say go.
I could draw a shield red. Hooray! Got him! That's why you don't play a land. And if I draw Fable, I don't want to play the land. Okay, so I can get two Dothies now. Not dead after all. So now if I attack, that's six. I should have did this first if I was gonna attack, but yeah, it is lethal on the crackback, but I died a bolt. Do I wanna die to a bolt? Or a croxa? I'm probably dead to a croxa anyway. Well, no, it does get exiled. So yeah, I have to just say go. Dang it. But that's okay. They can just start attacking with these two. Okay. Well, now I have to leave it back to not die on the spot. I'm glad I didn't attack. Well, yeah, I'm still glad I didn't attack. All right, well, I'm down to one effectively, but they should, if they attack all out, they're dead. Well, wait, if I attack, it forces the same outcome? No, because I can block their Bowmaster. We might have to top deck. We only have seven. Yep. Yep, we do have to top deck, but we got a lot of outs, kind of. Drum roll. Bang. Terminate. Well. That is kind of an out. I mean, it is an out. It straight is, because I deal with grief. But how's the best way to approach this? Back for seven. Well, I could play a grief. Yeah, this is better. Then I have another blocker for a Ragavan, so that's not lethal. Or another Bowmaster wouldn't be lethal. Okay. Uh, all right, Geo, one top deck. Do we get there? Do we get the trophy or do they get it? Yeah! <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That is awesome. That's how we get ready for a Super League right there with a good old fashioned T, a good old fashioned trophy. So. Let's hope I can win two matches today. I don't know who my opponents were, so no shade to them whatsoever, but now I'm going to have to play against two extremely better opponents. Once again, no diss at, at who I just played against, but it's Aspiring Spike and then either Canister or Javier. These are world-class level players, so, uh, you know, and they're going to be metagaming for me and coming at me. So uh, it's going to be quite the show. By the time you're watching this, you already know if I either won Super League or I lost or I took second. Uh, and that's for me to find out here in a couple hours. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you want more content on this deck, I have been dominating with Scam. Dominating with it. Um, I just took second and third in a 300 and a 200 person event at SCG. I went like 20 and 2 on Moto before that. Uh, I've just been having a, a heater with this deck and I love playing it and I, I like writing about it as well. So check that out if you're interested in the deck, go to the Patreon and then please uh, hit the bell to be uh, notified about future videos. Really helps out the algorithm, helps me out as a, a creator. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.